I had low progesterone and started Vitex, and now I'm pregnant. Vitex works. I was taking Vitex and it messed me up. Help! I'm not ovulating. Is Vitex right for me? Vitex. 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 It's all about Vitex today on Fertility Mom, so stick with me so you can find out how this powerful herb actually works. Welcome back to Fertility Mom. If you want all of the science-based tips, tricks, and secrets to help you get pregnant naturally and faster, then subscribe to my channel and hit the bell so you know when I give you new stuff every week. Today we're going to talk about how Vitex can help you with fertility, but before we do that, I want you to hit the like button if you want me to do a frequently asked questions video all about Vitex. And if you hit the like button, give me a comment down below and ask me a question specifically so that I can answer it in that video. All right, Vitex, let's dive in. I get asked this question a lot. Should I take Vitex? I hear it's really helpful in fertility. And it's a really tricky question to answer because lots of other questions need to be asked and answered appropriately before we can begin to even think about taking Vitex for fertility. So it's really important that we go over these questions and go over how it really actually works in the body before you start taking this powerful herb because it can really help you or it can really hurt you. And one really quick note, you know I'm all about hormonal balance and doing it naturally and treating the root cause on this channel. And that is absolutely true. That's my number one thing. I always want to help you treat the root cause, get to the root of the problem and help balance the body naturally because that's what the body is designed to do. However, Sometimes the body needs a little nudge in the right direction and Vitex can be helpful for that in certain circumstances. So let's talk about those. First off, what is Vitex? Well, Vitex is a natural herbal supplement made from the Agnus castus fruit off of what is called a chaste tree. And mythical legend, I don't know if this is actually true or not, but it is said that it was called the chaste tree because this fruit was used to help decrease libido in men during the Middle Ages. And what is Vitex used for? Well, Vitex has been touted to be good for everything in terms of fertility. It has been said to help with luteal phase defect and progesterone deficiency and irregular cycles and anovulation and this and that and the other thing. It has been said that it helps with everything. And that is not altogether true. Let's get into what it actually does inside the body. So how does Vitex work? Aha! Herein lies the really important thing to understand. Vitex has what is called dopaminergic-like activity, which means it works within the dopamine and prolactin feedback loop within the hypothalamus to help increase dopamine and decrease prolactin. So it actually works directly on the hypothalamus, a part of the brain that is crucial for hormonal balance in the body. Now, prolactin, we don't love it to be super high, especially in fertility, because what prolactin can do, among many, many other things, but prolactin helps you lactate if you're nursing or pregnant, but it does many, many hundreds of things within the body. So it's normal, it's normal to have prolactin in the body, but when it's too high, what it actually does is it inhibits ovulation because it decreases FSH and LH, the two main important hormones that help mature your egg and help you ovulate. So high prolactin means low ovulation, a not very powerful one, not very mature egg, and all those things that go with it. So we don't love to see high prolactin when we're trying to get pregnant. So if you have high prolactin, that could actually be for many, many different reasons. It could be because you have hypothyroidism, it could be because you have a microadenoma or a benign tumor on your pituitary gland, it could be because you are pregnant or lactating or a bunch of different reasons. There's lots of different reasons that you could have high prolactin and one of those very important reasons is low dopamine. So now dopamine can actually be low for a lot of different reasons as well. And interestingly enough, people who have type two diabetes have incidences of low dopamine levels. And this is very interesting because it actually signifies that there is an inflammatory insulin resistance condition that goes along with this problem of low dopamine because you see in other inflammatory conditions as well, like Parkinson's and Alzheimer's, which are now being called different types of diabetes. Like Alzheimer's is being called diabetes type three because it has this inflammatory and insulin resistance quality to it. 
So what Vitex actually ends up doing is it actually binds to dopaminergic receptors on the hypothalamus and tells it to stop producing and releasing as much prolactin. So it's not dopamine, but it acts like dopamine and it does the job of dopamine of telling the body, cool it on the prolactin levels, we don't need that much. So this direct action of Vitex on the hypothalamus actually indirectly affects your fertility because it decreases your prolactin, which increases all of your ovulatory hormones like FSH and LH, which matures your egg better. It gives you a better quality egg, which gives you a better quality ovulation. It gives you a better quality follicle. And this is where the important piece is. It gives you a better quality corpus luteum, which is the thing that actually produces and releases the progesterone that you need in your luteal phase. So if all of these things happen and you get a better quality follicle that is able to meet and exceed the expectations of the luteal phase in terms of progesterone, your luteal phase will lengthen, your progesterone rate will rise, and all of these things are really, really good for fertility. But it only happens if you have high prolactin because of low dopamine. If you have high prolactin for any other reason, Adding Vitex into the mixture will actually throw your entire cycle out of whack. It will completely take you off track. It will delay ovulation, ovulation will disappear, your period will be delayed by weeks, and this has happened to many women, myself included, many years ago when I did not know any better. I ended up doing this to myself, and thereby I learned all of this other stuff about it. So it's really important that you figure out What's going on with your body? Do you have high prolactin? Do you have low dopamine? And if so, then that's when Vitex is actually gonna be good for you. So how do you know if you have high prolactin due to low dopamine? Well, the easiest way to know about your prolactin level is to get a blood test. And I'm just gonna say, get a blood test because your prolactin could be high because you have a microadenoma on your pituitary gland and you would never know it unless you got your prolactin level checked. So if you're having some fertility issues or fertility challenges, you've been trying for a while, get your prolactin level checked. It's just a basic blood test at your doctor's office. In terms of dopamine, you can also get that checked, but if you're having symptoms like depression, fatigue, you're inexplicably like tearful or sad, you feel detached, unemotional, you can't have empathy for people, you're extremely demotivated, you're weight, gain, all of these things are signals that you're having low dopamine. So if all of these things match up, Vitex might be the right thing to take in order to help boost your fertility. Now again, this is just kind of like a little nudge in the right direction. It's not going to actually cure the actual problem. It's not going to take care of the root cause of your low progesterone. Now if you were to take Vitex and it would help, that's great. But if you stopped Vitex without actually treating the root cause of your hormonal imbalance, the hormonal imbalance will come back. So it's really just a band-aid. But in terms of fertility, if you're using it for a short amount of time to help really get you over that edge and get you pregnant, that's great. And hopefully after pregnancy, it will all return to normal and your imbalance will be controlled. However, it's important that while you're taking Vitex that you're doing all of these other lifestyle modifications to help actually treat the root cause so that you're not on Vitex forever. In terms of taking Vitex, the dose is about a thousand milligrams a day and it depends on the type you take, whether it's a capsule or a tincture and everybody's brand is different. So I'm not going to go too into how to take it, when to take it and all that stuff because I've already dragged on for a while and I really wanted you to know how it actually works in your body so that you can kind of tell whether it's the right fit for you. If this is not the right fit for you. If you have low progesterone, but it's not because you have a high prolactin due to low dopamine, do not take Vitex. It will delay your ovulation, it will kill it all together, it will make your periods all wild and wacky, and it will take you several months to get back on track. If you are having low progesterone or a luteal phase defect for other reasons, it's best to kind of look at your lifestyle factors and diet and nutrition modifications that you can make. Because again, diet and nutrition is the absolute foundation for which your internal environment and your hormonal imbalance is based off of. Your internal environment is based off of your diet and nutrition and your mindset, which I haven't really talked a lot about on this channel, but if you would like me to talk about it more, you can also hit me down in the comments and I can talk about how mindset affects your fertility in huge ways 
you would be surprised about the science behind all of this mindset stuff. Whew, that was a lot on Vitex. I hope you learned something. I hope I didn't overwhelm you. Negative feedback loops and dopamine, nergic and blah, 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 all this stuff. But I, I tried to simplify it as best I could. I hope you understood it enough so, so that you can make the right decision for you and your body. And that is all for me today on Fertility Mom. I want you to subscribe and hit the bell and join me next week because I will be here waiting for you to help you get pregnant. Bye, ladies. Oh, 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 oh,